Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing an American IPA, one that I've had many times over but have never had the pleasure of reviewing, and that is the Go West IPA. There we go, from Anchor Steam Brewing. And they are a Bay Area uh, brewery for those who are unaware. <clears throat> um, they have, uh, well, I'll, I'll let you go to their website so you can uh, see how they brew their beer. But uh, suffice to say, it's a, it's a use of steam. It's um, not a it's not a process that anybody else uh, ever used before, or I think I don't think anybody uses it now aside from them. Um, but uh, they are in San Francisco proper, and they do have a really nice brewery. Um, and uh, the, their process of of brewing does involve uh, uh, a steam. Um, well, like I said, I'm going to let you go to their brewery and go, go to their website, and they can explain better to you how they go about brewing the beer. But suffice to say that uh, what they did is they bought an old um, a 19th century brewery uh, that was using steam in their um, brewing process, and they decided to just capitalize on that. Uh, and when they uh, bought the brewery sometime in the late 70s. So anyway, uh, the Go West IPA is uh, America's first, okay, da, 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 da. fast forward to the West Go West IPA made with two row barley, pale barley, malt, and dry hop with a unique blend of four American hops. Uh, so anyway, this is, this is a great beer. Uh, honestly, it's probably one of my favorite IPAs of all time. It's not overly bitter, but it is very complex. It's very true to form, <clears throat> and uh, I'm so anxious to try this out. I'm going to um, cut short my usual pontification and uh, just get crack into it. Uh, for this 12-ounce bottle, I did uh, spend $1.69. Normally, it would have been $1.99, but I had a 15% off on all singles coupon at Total Wine. So, hats off to bargains, huh? And, as usual, I use my pop-the-top opener from Taza Designs. I want to show you that the crowning is in good shape. You could reseal a bottle with that cap. And if you are a cap collector, cap is unscathed, looking good. So anyway, that is the pop the top opener from Taza Designs. So I'm going to be using my Tanea Creek IPA glass. I know I say this frequently, and I'm going to try and figure out a, a quick way to say this so that I can repeat it each episode without boring those of you who watch this regularly. Okay, here it goes. See this glass? You go to Tanea Creek Brewery here in Las Vegas. You lay down six bucks on a Tuesday. They're going to hand you this glass full of a house beer. You bring the glass back to the bartender. You lay down three bucks. You get a refill. You take the glass home with you that Tuesday night, come back next Tuesday night, bring your dirty glass with you and say, hey, give me some beer and lay down three bucks, you're going to get another beer. So you get to keep the glass, it's six bucks for glass and beer, and then three dollar refills uh, after that, and that's only on Tuesdays at Tanea Creek Brewery. So got to give my shout out to the creek. I am a creek geek. And look for us on the Creek Geeks LV. You can also find the Creek Geeks on... Uh, on Facebook and you don't have to be a Las Vegas resident you don't even have to have ever been to Tanea Creek if you think you'd like to try Tanea Creek come check us out on the Facebook page I mean you know <clears throat> Tony and I are always checking the we're usually there on Wednesdays and uh, which is a good if you if you come by on Wednesdays you're likely to see the Creek Geeks that's that's the typical day for us um, so this is nice and hazy it is a almost orange yellow. Uh, we've got high low carbonation. As you can see, over the course of time, that head is not really dissipating. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty on there. So uh, let's get to the uh, bouquet, shall we? And I am smelling a mess of hops. Um, I'm smelling uh, pine, citrus. I'm thinking we got chinook, citra. Uh, Maybe Cascade. Um, anyway, this is a very, very, uh, very hopped beer. Uh, it's overly hoppy without being overly bitter. Um, and I, I do like bitter beers, but uh, I like it when a, when a beer holds true to style. And this is very true to style. And I'm going to quit talking about it, and I'm going to start drinking it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. This is a great IPA. 
somehow it manages to maintain hoppiness and creaminess, and that's a combination you rarely see. Normally an IPA can either go creamy or it can go hoppy, but uh, somehow they've managed to do both with this particular beer, with this particular beer. I should be showing you the label, not the, uh, the glass. Um, the Go West IPA from Anchor Steam. Anchor Brewing, I guess, is uh, actually their name. Um, <clears throat> this beer... has a pretty low mouthfeel. Um, ABV of 6.7, so it's a, a little high for an IPA, but certainly not anywhere close to double or imperial IPA uh, levels. <clears throat> what I'm tasting right off the very bat is... Uh, Uh, just that hop profile. A um, little bit of the malt behind there, but man, I can taste every single hop that they must have used. Uh, like I said, low mouth feel, uh, low alcohol burn, uh, despite the fact that it is a slightly higher ABV than you would find for most uh, IPAs. This beer in particular uh, Hmm, I, I, it's so complex and it's so on target that it's difficult, honestly, to go through the flavor profile. Uh, the slightest bit of sweetness, um, the slightest bit of citrus tart, uh, the slightest, I mean, there, there's creaminess, there's, there's, uh, you get, like I said, you get that bitterness from both citrus and hops, um, you get the creaminess, you're getting a little sweet on the back end of the taste, uh, In fact, it's even a little bit biscuity, like you would expect a pale ale to be. Mm. Pardon. So, all in all, this is a tremendous beer. Um, I'm not sure what I've given this in the past, but uh, today I think I'm going to be giving it a 4.25 for this. Uh, it's just such a great beer, and I'm really, really... This is the kind of beer that I could stick in the back of my fridge, and uh, just kind of a, kind of a go-to IPA, if you will. But anyway, um, 6.7 ABV, $1.69 I paid for a 12-ounce bottle, normally $1.99. The Go West IPA from Anchor Brewing out of San Francisco is a winner. So until next time, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.